Mark right. Stu Myrick from Sportscast Talk of Wrestling on the Horn in Austin. First of all, it's great to see you. I know there's got to be a lot of emotion. This is got this is your first Ring of Honor pay per view without your brother. Talk for a moment about what it felt like to be out there. You know he's looking from above, but to not have him in that corner. Just talk for a moment about the emotions that you were, that you were experiencing. I tell you, it was uh, <clears throat> it's uh, you know this is going to be May twentieth. It'll be twenty three years that me and my brother have been professional wrestlers. You know, and uh, it was the first time after we had the dog column after FPR at Final Battle in December. We had an indie show in Queens uh, against uh, Team Vault main event at House of Glory at later in December. And after that, we didn't, it was the first time in so long that we didn't have our, we didn't have a match book. We didn't have something, uh, you know, we knew Supercard was coming and we knew that we was going to be on Supercard Defending the tag team titles, but we didn't have any. We didn't have anything on the Indies. We didn't. It was. It was. A, it was a strange, strange moment of, as weird as it sounds, peace, because my brother. <laughs> when we had a match coming up, and I don't want this to sound wrong, but he didn't have peace because he was always so ready to go. He called me like check. Yo, chick, we gotta, we gotta cut this promo. What do you want to do for this promo? Let's put a tweet out. Let, you know, whatever it may be. But this was just a, a weird little season where we didn't have. We we knew Supercar was coming a few months away, but we didn't have a match yet. So it was he was chilling, <laughs> and Jay Briscoe, uh, he as. I mean, this is no knock whatsoever because of his passion. He was rarely chilling. He was always focused on the next match. He was always focused on the next opponent, focused on the next promo we're going to cut, focused on what's next. But what was next was Supercar, and it was yet to be known what Supercar was going to entail for the Bristol Brothers. So, uh, you know, and now here we are. Supercar just wrapped up, and uh, you know, I can't say that I'm, uh, you know, we uh, we about winning. You know what I mean? We about championships. We about making making the family proud. We about about the legacy. And you know, one thing that I'm not going to do is sit here and pout. Samoa so Joe is a hell of a fighter, but. If you think that I'm done with Samoa Joe because he beat me tonight, hey, you can forget about that, man. But uh, I know, like, I can feel him, my brother. I can feel him. Like, it's not, it's not like I wonder about him because I can feel him. I wonder where he is, what he's doing, you know, because I can feel him. It's like even more so than before where we were – one in, you know, we, you always hear the commentary, oh, the Briscoe brothers, they don't even have to talk, speak words, they grunt and snarl and they know what they, <laughs> what each other's talking about. But now it's like, more than ever, it's like Jay's like in me. If that, I mean, that's, it might be, might sound weird, but it's the God's honest truth, man. And I can feel him and I felt him out there tonight. It's like I do every day of my life, but especially when I'm between them ropes, because you know that's something that that's something that we shared since we was three, four, five years old. I mean, it ain't start when you know we was became professionals at fifteen and sixteen, but it started way before that. You know what I mean? It started way before that, and now it's like where we go from here. That's like where he's like, "Yo, check. Let's go. Pick yourself up." Let's go. So, yeah, man. It's uh, 
this is strange and I'm just starting to learn how this new thing works. But, uh, oh yeah, he right here with me, you. Uh, Mark Heitz, in Salcedo Institute of Culture. Um, we have seen, you know, you and your brother wrestle literally everywhere across so many different promotions, uh, so many big moments. And looking back, what would you say are some of the memories that, like, you still, like, just hold dear to your heart? I mean, that's, it's like, uh, it's like asking which one of my kids is my favorite, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I got seven kids. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but uh, I mean, like, you know, just, I tell you something that was just so special in just the way that, you know, the way that God worked that last year. You know, tomorrow is one year since Briscoe's FTR won. And it's just that trilogy of matches that we just, you know, we're going to, like I said, it'll be 23 years in May. 22 years of wrestling, and you know we we've had amazing matches here, there, and everywhere. But just there's something special about the three matches that we had with FTR, and just the fact that that was what Jamin. That's what, I'm telling you, like his passion. He was passionate about. Anything that he did, anything that he thought was worth doing, he did it 110%. Whether it was coaching middle school football or whether it was landscaping. He was a landscaping kind of so early. He was the, the damnedest, the best landscaper. I mean, that there might have been one thing he was better at than wrestling, and that was running that weed and putting that edge on him. <laughs> but, no, but you know, he was just like, the way that that happened. Like that was what he was, he was at such peace because that's what we were just coming off of. The dog collar match with FDR. And like I said, we didn't have a definite match in the future. And we were so proud of that match in that trilogy with them guys that it's like, it's hard. Like if you knew, if you knew Jay personally, then you just understand how he, he, like, if we had a match that, you know, he ain't really, he didn't really like that much. And he was like, man, I know I could have been so much better. Then he would, he wouldn't, he wouldn't be able to get right until the next match that we had and we went out there and killed him. You know what I mean? But just coming off of that, that match with FDR, I mean, that was, that trilogy, like I said, with FDR, that, that was, that will always be special. Always be special. I mean, there's, I could sit here, for 20 minutes and you know what I mean cherry pick I said okay I remember back in 2006 when we did this you know what I mean but just that I'm gonna just leave it at that the FDR trilogy is, is it, it will never ever be and, and you know what I mean always be special always be special hey Mark Mike Johnson PW Insider how are you Good, good. Um, I covered a lot of your stuff dating back to when you were rookies. Uh, I was tonight the reception afterwards felt like best of the best one in, the, in Jersey, both like times ten thousand. You and came and had that couple matches. Obviously, it was an emotional night for you. Who did you have expected that sort of outpouring from the crowd after the match, and then that moment with your family afterwards? Like, can you kind of explain what was going through your head in that moment when the match was over? Joe had left, he giving you the ring, and Suddenly, the entire arena is basically adopted Briscoe family members. It's uh, it's unreal, man. It's the love, dude. Love is the word. Love is the word. Like, this is, like, you know what I mean? Love is the trump card in life. You ever play spades? You know what I mean? The spades, the trump card. The, the three of spades will be the ace of hearts. Love is the trump card. You see what I'm saying? In life, you know what I mean? Like that's above and beyond anything else. And that's what I felt, man. That's what I felt. Like, I remember that, I remember that match, Best of the Best 2000, 2001. Yep. You know, it was, it was, it was funny because we debuted May the 20th, 2000. May the 21st, 2001 is when 
we had that match, best of the best, CZW in Sewell, New Jersey. And, uh, it, you know, to me, it's, it's weird because it's like we started on the 20th, we changed the game on the 21st. You see what I'm saying? And, you know, it's crazy because the and Jay, you know, like, we wanted the same, like, and he passed away. He moved on to the next higher level of existence on January the 17th, January the 18th, my birthday. So he went on, he moved on on the 17th, and I was born on the 18th. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's profound, man. Like, if, if you can't see God's hand in this, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's just something that I feel. It's not just something I know in my head, it's something I feel in my heart. But man, the, the outpouring, it was just, you know, don't get me wrong, I was pissed because I just lost the damn match. <laughs> <laughs> but felt good, felt good. Thank you. I'm really glad you asked that. It's a great question. Thank you, Bill. Uh, I'm really excited. Tonight was uh, very different. It was the first pay-per-view of, of a new journey, and it was a start of something special because it's the first Ring of Honor pay-per-view that I've been able to work with Mark Crisco as a singles wrestler. I first got to know Mark and Jay one year ago today, and it was the first time we met. And I smile because I see you over there, and Denise, you're actually there the first time we ever worked together and met. And it was a great show. It was super card last year in Dallas. And the trilogy that Mark talked about, it's very special, I think, to people all over the world. It's very special to me personally, and you know that. And it is special to me for many reasons. And it, I was glad that I got to know Mark and Jay and immediately bonded. And I wanted to work with them even more. I wanted to, I thought they could be a part of AEW, a part of Ring of Honor forever. And uh, what we did in Ring of Honor, the trilogy we did, is one of the most perfect things I've ever been a part of, and it's a really special thing. And we look back on it, it's the, it's, uh, what, uh, the what's symmetry for three? <laughs> symmetry is two, the, 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 the whatever, the, the <laughs> that's the perfect, pardon? The cube. The cube, the, the, the cube, the cube of it. Uh, well, I don't know if that's quite right, because, uh, is that, is the, the symmetry, is it, you call it the cube, what do you call it, the, 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 uh, the triangle of symmetry, the, the, the perfect, it's just the, the trilogy was so perfect, and, um, i sorry for, um, reflecting on this, and I'm sorry for taking away from any of this, I just want to talk about you for a second, because this is, you asked what this is, and it's the start of a new journey, and like Samoa Joe's one of the greatest wrestlers, one of the Hall of Famers, there's only four Hall of Fame acts, in Ring of Honor history, it includes the Briscoe brothers as a team and Samoa Joe as a single. And tonight was a dream match in many ways. But uh, Samoa Joe is one of the greatest mountains of, of all to climb. And I think Mark is still learning out there in some ways to do a different style of pay-per-view wrestling than he's done, been accustomed to in the past. There was a moment tonight uh, when the match hit an emotional climax where Mark actually looked to the corner for strength and found it in his brother. And, you know, I think that there's more to come from Mark Briscoe. I'm really excited because I felt like this was the start of something special uh, and the start of a new journey that we started a year ago. And I want to echo what he says that I feel like Jay's with all of us. I feel that. Um, I personally, it's neither here nor there. There's a spiritual side. I tried to get in touch with more uh, in October when my mom was really sick and, and on the ropes and she kicked out and uh, there was something I was looking for and I found it with Mark and his family. And uh, to be in uh, a place where I've never seen such an outpouring love and frankly, it's because of the, out, the love that they exude and what comes out of Mark and his family and his parents and everybody in that family and Jay. And it's a presence that I feel and I'm with him and so, Mark's not going anywhere and Jay's not going anywhere. Right, They're right. always with us. And so uh, the future is strong for all of us and we're all going to be together <coughs> forever. And uh, it's a really, really special thing. 
uh, that uh, the connection that those fans tonight had with him because they all felt that it was the start of a journey and that's why you saw that emotional connection and that outpouring of love and it's only the beginning of that kind of outpouring of love and there's people all over the world uh, that love Mark and it's because of the love that comes out of him because he's such a special person and his family are such special people. Last question for Mark. Uh, John Moore Pro Wrestling Donet. First, let me preface this. It's so amazing to see like people like you uh, just having such a positive attitude in a tough situation like this. It's funny, like you mentioned how like he's still inside of you. you know, like you know, as, as weird that sounds, but you, you understand that he's like looking for love, always in your memories and always here. And the reason I preface things like that is where does that sort of positivity come from? Is it like faith, family, upbringing, and at the same time? What advice can you give to others to have that positive attitude when they're going through that same situation? Brother, man, I like is I gotta just you know what I mean, cut yeah. through the chase and I tell you you know Jesus. Like dude, I like and it was a time in my life where I struggled with faith and God and all that. And it was one of the most scariest I don't know if it's Grammatically correct, but one of the most scariest times of my life when I'm like, "Holy shit! If I die, maybe there's not a heaven. Like maybe I'm just dead and gone." But then it's like when God shows up, and it's like you feel it, and it's like the wind. You 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 cannot see the wind, even in the midst of the biggest hurricane tornado. You're not actually seeing the wind. You're seeing the effects of the wind. You see what I mean? You see shit, tra trailers and this, that, and the other blowing all over the place. Leaves, what, you know, whatever, blowing houses down. You're not seeing the wind itself. You're seeing the effects of the wind. You see what I'm saying? And when I started seeing and feeling the effects of God in my life, that's when it was, that's what changed the game for me. And that's where I got peace. That's where I got comfort. You know what I mean? I grew up in a Christian family, but, that, you know what I mean? To me, that's a, that adds up to a hill of beans until you experience it. But you know that's what. So that's what I'm telling everybody. Like, like just know that this is uh, this life is a drop in the ocean, in a million oceans, in a hundred million oceans, in a billion oceans, a drop. So the night that day passed, the night that day passed, I'm like, my brain obviously is like, you know. What the hell, you know, I can't even comprehend anything. I can't even think straight when I'm on the way to the hospital. Jay was, I mean, they were still trying to get him out of the truck. You know what I mean? He was trapped. He was, you know, but my nieces were over at the hospital. We're going to the, the hospital. Everybody's there. Everybody's on the way to the hospital. I, it was, I swear to you, it was like I'm, as I'm in this midst of, you know, what the fuck is going on <laughs> in part of my language, but it's like, uh, God was like, hey, do you believe what you say you believe? Or do you just say you believe it? And I was like, nah. I got faith. I was like, okay, I do. I do believe what I say I believe. It's like, well, hey, if that's the case, then you know what's up. He's with me. You know? He's good. Like, worry about them girls. Worry about your family. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, I'm, I'm telling you, like, in the last, since Jay back, everything's been flipped upside down, flipped on its head, you know what I mean? But in the strangest way, it's finally getting to the peak, to the place where it's like, it's okay. As strange as that sounds, it's okay. It's like, he's doing better than me. They doing better than me. I wrestled Samoa Joe tonight. He wrestled Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> 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 and, and technically, like, like next time you win the world champ, you're going to be champ too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it, it's, it's just, uh, you know what I mean? And, you know, everybody has their own personal beliefs, but that's what I'm going with. That's what I'm going with, brother. <laughs>